good day good day you guys and welcome back to the channel i'm peter for those of you that are new here welcome go ahead and hit like comment and subscribe tap that notification bell so you can know when i'm uploading to the channel all right you guys so today your ancestor message is there is a balancing that is occurring or trying to occur for you and most of this balance although you are aligning your root your solar plexus your sacral all of these things the main thing that is trying to be grounded is like your heart okay your heart like it's and it's things that are within your heart that is causing you to that is causing your mind to think a certain way okay and as you're doing these meditations you're like you know i'm trying to escape my thoughts but your guides and your ancestors are not wanting you to escape those thoughts rather than to allow those thoughts to leave on their own through observation of the meditation and it doesn't matter like how you hold the meds when it comes to certain things like no matter what you're sitting up or laying down or you're in action but spaced out like as long as you're exploring and observing and reflecting on these thoughts and allowing them to pass naturally and not trying to force these thoughts to pass that's what your guys and your ancestors wanted you to do and they're saying that that is how you're going to find balance some of you love really big you love really big and that's amazing because that is something that's kind of hard to like find in these day and time like people that love real big and people that have experienced so much pain and so much hurt and so many traumatic experiences and so many letdowns and so many levels of defeat and so your ancestors are actually proud that you still have the ability to be compassionate to those even though you have been hurt by many or even though many have tried to mislead you or many have misled you and have hurt you in the process but what they're saying is like sometimes your love because you love so much for the ones that love so much your love can cause issues within the balance love can cause issues within the balance so like you love so much in this or these things or these people or the things that you love is causing issues with your balance right maybe you love to work and you love working so much that you work all the time <laughs> and so because you love to work you work all the time and that love for your work is causing issues in your ability to be balanced and to be grounded I hope you guys can hear me okay. The ability to be balanced and to be grounded, okay? And so because this is causing issue the, because your work is causing issues in your balance, it's like, okay, hey, there needs to be some kind of some kind of metric to measure how much of yourself do you give to the things you love. Okay? And this could be an individual. How much of yourself are you giving to the individual that you love? This could be family. This could be anything. So that's like the question. And it's like when that question, if, if it looks like you're giving more to everything and everybody else. There you go. Y'all know what I'm about to say. Everything and everybody else. Then that's when there needs to be some type of balancing between that. And the thing about this love, like this love, is the love, a type of love. So the love for whatever this thing is, is a type of love that is keeping you somewhat into your past life. So it's keeping you somewhat into your past life. Although you're evolving, although you're changing, although energies have been transformed and transmuted, there are some things that are keeping you 
with one foot into the past life or one toe in it maybe it's, it might not be that deep for some and maybe you probably don't even think that it's, you're doing this stuff because you, you have this particular love for it but it is love it's just your way of loving regardless to how that way is okay and so therefore um therefore you are kind of like in a I want I don't want to say chaotic cuz that's just too much but like you kind of in this energy where you don't know, you know. <laughs> you don't know which direction to go with it, okay? You don't know which direction to go in it, but the direction to go is inward. And when you go inward, ask the appropriate questions. And those appropriate questions come from those thoughts that you're trying to chase out. But remember, don't chase them out. Just observe and flow with them. And you'll get the answers that you need, okay? Your ancestors are also saying that, like, you are kind of being regenerated like you some of you are starting to get your energy back some of you are starting to figure out exactly what it is that you want to do like exactly what your heart desires some of you are, are, are in your creative energy and it's on fire okay it's on fire but even those things are requiring the balance, okay? So with everything, your answers are wanting you to just maintain, like they, they want you to work, they want you to do all the things that you're loving doing, enjoying doing, but they want you to do a balance of it. They don't want you to do so much of what you love that you don't do uh, nothing else, okay? So try to keep that balance between all things, all right? Because right now, you just came out of some serious energy here and so now it's about you know being balanced because you don't want to be unbalanced and then you know somebody say the wrong thing or you say the wrong thing and then you end up in some trouble okay you know because the energy supports trouble right now you know so just being balanced today y'all and being at peace and, and chilling so many different Things are coming to service, surface, and as these things come to surface, it, is, it appears as though you are now responding better to some of those things. And if not, those techniques is going to help you to respond better to those things. But once you have, I don't, I don't want to say mastered either. But once you have gotten a handle on balancing, then the things that you are working on are going to bear fruit. And you're going to bear a lot of fruit. Okay? And it's going to happen fast. And it's going to be an accelerated motion. And it's going to be infinite. But there is a certain belief surrounding the action that is going to have to be in balance with that same energy, right? In alignment with that same energy, okay? I hope this makes sense, y'all. Just trying to <laughs> figure out what I'm seeing, the things that I'm hearing, but they have, they, it, everything is going to have to be in a certain alignment. So the belief is going to have to match the actions. The belief is going to have to match the actions. Okay? So if you're doing things, and you have to be intentional. And so in order to be intentional, you have to believe in what it is that you're doing. So the belief has to match the action. And the action will create balance and abundance at the same time. Okay? Your guys and your ancestors 
are saying that you have to be mindful of your surroundings. You really have to be aware of all that is happening around you. What they don't want you to do is they don't want you to be indulging in things that are going to set you up for the kill. Okay, they don't want you indulging in things that set you up for the kill. They want you to remain it. They want you to keep your integrity with everything that you're doing. You know, so don't be doing things for the likes. Don't be doing things for the love. Don't be doing things for the, you know, do things that align with your moral compass. Don't do things just for the sake of doing it. Don't do them just because you want somebody to, you know, rock with you or hang with you or whatever it is or be on your side. Just do it because of your moral compass. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to have to pay the karma on something and you didn't agree you didn't really agree with what it is that you was doing so you're saying like do everything with integrity like stop trying to stop trying to hide stuff stop trying to hide stuff so whoever's trying to be sneaky stop trying to hide stuff because it's going it's going to show up man it's going to show up and it's not going to be good you know so just just keep that integrity keep that integrity pay attention you know because what's, what what this this what this type of behavior is doing, this type of behavior is 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 fiery, okay? It's it's explosive, it's chaotic, and this thing is right in position. And all you have to do is make one wrong move with this thing, this individual, this entity, and they going they gonna hit you. They gonna strike you. Look at that bird. They're going to get you. It's going to get you. You know? So be real careful with whatever it is that you're doing. I don't know if you, I don't know if you um, doing some kind of, you know, drugs or whatever. I don't know if you like just drinking uncontrollably. I like, I don't know what it is that you're doing specifically, but I know that whatever it is that you're doing, you are being warned on it. Okay? Meaning that that you are being warned like to not continue this route with whoever this is or don't continue this this don't continue going in that that direction because that direction and you already like you don't even feel within your soul that it's right all right your intuition is telling you like hey something's off here so if your intuition is telling you that it's wrong nine times out of ten is wrong the three people say it's raining outside it's raining okay so really be cautious with that. Pay attention to your intuition. Because if you do it the right way, you're going to get the reward and the recognition that you need. That's what they're saying. Like, so you don't have to do it the wrong way. You don't have to. Maybe they do, but you don't have to. So you will receive the reward and the recognition that you desire because you've already visualized it. So it's going to happen. But don't force it to happen. All right. So if you plan on like doing a ritual or something for it, don't do that either. Like I'm talking about like magic interfering with the balance. Okay. You could do a ritual, like, you know, but I'm talking about like creating a potion, like a binding spell or something. I don't know what it is. Like it's something that they don't want you tampering with, whatever it is. So I hope whoever's listening, whatever it is that you tampering with, that your intuition already telling you it ain't right, then don't do it. Okay. Stop. Pause. It's not going to steer you wrong. It's not going to steer you wrong unless you're completely out of balance. You know? So, there's going to be some truth in that. All right? So, your guys and your ancestors are doing everything with integrity. And don't be out here trying to get in trouble. This is a different time of the day. Y'all see it's getting dark. So, I guess it don't matter when this ancestors come through. But, um, yeah. So, just do everything with integrity, y'all. But that's what you guys and your answers when you know they like look hey your work your your every all this stuff is about to come come together all right all these things about to come together there are there are some divisions happening too there are some separations happening it's like it's it's about to be some splits 
something is gonna bridge the gap too okay something's gonna bridge the gap so there's a lot of um these shifts that's happening are for your good like it's gonna make you better it's gonna make your overall situation better right now it might be the sky might look a little gray might look a little grim but eventually you're going to begin to see but that's where that balancing come in at and that work and that action that they was talking about come in at so don't 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 stress yourself out too bad about that all right but lots of changes all right lots of changes coming in so much love coming in healthy love too like i'm talking about people just gonna start treating you different they just gonna start acknowledging you differently like you about to see all that you ever desire is just gonna fly in and you're gonna be like wow you know and, and then that's the type of love that you also gonna have to balance because you don't want nothing to take you away from your 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 work and your soul mission and things like that so that and i think that's probably why they like look i know all the things you love like you know just don't let it distract you. That's what it is, really. Just don't let it distract you. Don't let love distract you. Don't let the things you love distract you. All right? Keep it keep it in alignment. Keep it in balance. Okay? But, yeah, that's I, I believe that's pretty much it. Like, they just want to be like, look, you don't got this far. You're doing all this. You're doing all that. Don't let this stuff knock you off track. Don't let these things come in and try to, you know, because... They ain't got time for that. They like, nah, player, uh-uh. I want you to come on in. And it's going to happen so quick. You know, some of y'all already, some of y'all already done got it quick. And y'all like, yeah, Peter right, because I did this. And yeah, that's how it is. That's how I feel, too. That's how I feel about my whole life, everything. It's happening quick, faster than, faster than we expected. Faster than you expected. That's how it's going to be, y'all. That's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. Uh, again, if you like the content on the page, go ahead and hit like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll holler at you.